most people do, who come in into the program have no knowledge of, of anything to do out in the real world. You know, oftentimes we hear about what young people are involved in, and you hear about the negative things that they do, but you don't really hear a whole lot of, they're involved in this negative behavior, but here's what we can do to combat it. So relative to workforce development, you know, there's this cliche that says, you know, nothing meets a boy like a job. Oftentimes when a person is on the corner or doing whatever um, with their free time, obviously they're not at work. And so if we can give them an employable skill, if we can give them a training, if we can give them some work experience, because they're involved in the STEP program for 10 weeks. So by the time they leave their 10 weeks, they leave with something on their resume that says, you know, I completed this job for 10 weeks. They leave with a mentor. They leave with a job reference. They leave with a paycheck. They leave with a bank account. They leave with something in their savings. And so they come into the program. Some of them may come with nothing, but they leave the program with all these skills to be able to help them transition back and be successful in addition to that. That they also leave with the resources of the outreach workers so that once a step program is completed they still have people that they can, they can contact and be plugged into to kind of help them move along. Remember, it's not, this is not the club, you know, this is your, your place of employment. Um, I work with the Youth Gang Violence and Prevention Initiative that the city started um, and this is our program. Um, we basically went out and engaged the community and, and brought some kids at risk into this program and we're going to give them jobs this year. You know, when you go out into the, to the community, some of the kids are saying, well, you know, what can you offer me? What can you do to help me out of my situation? And this year, we were able to go and say, well, I'm going to give you a job. I'm going to give you a job, and I'm going to show you how to work. I'm going to show you how to move on in life and go to college and all of those things. And we've, we're taking that opportunity and, and, and pushing forth in the community. Like, when, when I first started, I was I I had never had a job like doing anything. So it kind of gave me that that option to get out there, go ahead like don't be scared of the real world like cuz I was scared at first. Step participants, they've done a wonderful job here at the YMCA. We've watched them gain more self-esteem, more confidence. We've also watched them learn new skills. The collaboration between the City of Newport News and the YMCA has been a win-win situation for both parties concerned, and we hope that that collaboration will continue in the future. So this has been our customer service's first year with the STEP program, and it's wonderful. She's lifting a load, basically, in the customer services um, section as far as we being a little short staffed or you know when you have ex additional work that needs to be done we got this person that's just jumping right in feet first and I mean she's she's handling it. Uh, the STEP program is an extremely worthwhile program for the city of Newport News and the community in, as a whole. Um, takes participants that might not have job skills and gives them the opportunity to learn a variety of job market tasks skills that they can use for future employment. Also, they might not have an idea yet what they really want to do for a living, and it gives them a chance to get a wide variety of employers an opportunity to teach them what they need to learn in the trade wherever they might want to work in the future. Now we have our intern doing uh, installations for the police department, fire department, bus services, anything within the department for a city of Nipper News. You know, they're you know, running wiring, they're checking the wiring, they're checking the radios, they're checking anything they need to do when it, with it, within the vehicle services part. But I'm also letting them know that, you know, this is their area, this is their uh, office and, and during their work, so they got to make sure everything's right for them. We ended up with Juan Caron, and he has been a great um, team member for our culinary training program and he is a great contributor to the program and he has learned a lot and helped feed the children in the community this summer and he's learned a lot in the culinary skills while he's done that. Uh, the STEP program is a wonderful opportunity for kids and adults ages 16 to 24 in the southeast community to really uh, better themselves give them something to look forward to while also training them to become and be successful in the job field. 
uh, it's really made me allow me to hone in on my culinary skills, allow me to be a more all around better person. It's really built myself up. I've also been offered several job opportunities, one including a farm fest as a bakery assistant. The STEP program has affected me tremendously because it's a blessing in disguise. The great aspect of it is after they leave from the program, they come out with so much knowledge, so much skills, just in the span of 10 weeks. And that is phenomenal, especially if you put your mind to it.